Hey guys, welcome back to the channel today. I am trying out the Shinkans and the bullet train. I'll bring you guys along with me to figure it all out as we go along and see what uh, what the steps are, what you need to do to get from one place to the next. We are in Tokyo at Tokyo Station and we are headed to Shin Osaka Station in Osaka. Alright guys, so we came inside the Tokyo Station and went to the Shinkansen uh, ticket office because we weren't sure if we needed to exchange what we had for an actual physical ticket. So we bought our tickets in the EX app, which made it really easy for us to do because it was uh, already set up in English, which um, makes it really easy if you don't speak Japanese. So we purchased those tickets in the app and then it dispensed a QR code to us. And so we thought we needed to, according to the email that they send you, you uh, we thought we needed to bring the QR code to the station and exchange it for a physical ticket. But once we showed it to the agent inside the office, she told us we didn't need um, a physical ticket that the QR code would get us into the gate and onto the train So that's what we're going to do. We're going to head over to the platform She told us what the number is already although we are here considerably early because we weren't sure what was gonna happen once we got here So we did pay about a hundred dollars for each ticket So about two hundred dollars for us to go from Tokyo to Osaka. It's one of the fastest if not the fastest um, this is a high-speed train, bullet train here in Japan. It goes almost 200 miles an hour, like around 185 miles per hour or so, which is really quite fast. It's going to take us about two, two and a half hours to get from Tokyo to Osaka. Um, and if you did that by car, it'd take you about six hours. Um, and by bus, maybe around eight hours, depending on the stops. There is a train that is less expensive, but it does take considerably longer, almost 12 hours to do that. So it's really nice to have a nice short travel day today at only two and a half hours and to be able to go that fast in a train. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. So hopefully you guys are excited about that, as excited as we are. So let's head over and try to find this track, see if we can uh, figure out where we need to go. I hear trains uh, moving around back there. So let's go figure that out. Update on how it's going. Uh, pretty good. <laughs> it's the update. Um, we came through the gate, uh, scanned our QR code, and then we were given these tickets at the other end, and this is the actual ticket to the train. So if you have that QR code, the machine will automatically dispense it for you, get through. And there was a little bit of baggage carrying, so another plus for not bringing too much stuff with you when you come to Japan. But uh, you can see this is one of the trains that we are gonna be on right here. Uh, next to me, there are people boarding on the other side of me. It's a hub of activity up here. Um, so yeah, we're looking pretty good here. Found the track and found everything. We're still pretty early, <laughs> so it's okay because we can kind of just take it in and uh, just be ready for this really fun trip. Okay, since we have reserved seats in the green car, uh, we also know which train car we're going to be in. We're going to be in number 8, and as you can see here is number 13 and number 12. So we're going to be going down that way to line up for 
our train when it gets ready when it gets here and then we'll be ready to board and that'll make it quick then we need to find a spot to put our bags because we're in a luggage reserved car and uh, then we just find our seats which are assigned so we'll be ready to go So I don't know what the situation is with food, but what I've read says that you mostly are just gonna get snacks and drinks on the train. So we decided to stop downstairs at the little shop. They have meals. This one was 1,080 yen, uh, which is about-ish, seven-ish dollars, US dollars. So we're gonna enjoy that on the train. And we also had drinks that we had purchased earlier uh, or that we had from our hotel. So those are in my backpack back here. And uh, we'll be ready to have some lunch on the train. This one behind me is leaving. Ours is gonna be the next one. That's our track right there. So yeah, we're excited. It's almost time to hop on. Uh, seats on the platform in a little waiting covered waiting area and then there are also seats downstairs underneath the platform little waiting area there also that's also where we purchased our uh, food for the train
May I have your attention please? In the compartment of the reserved seat car, the space at the back is an oversized baggage area. The baggage corner next to wash basin is an oversized baggage compartment. These are only available to passengers who have made a reservation. Passengers who have not made a reservation will not be able to use it. Please use the overhead rack. Please be careful when you put your baggage on the overhead rack, as it may fall. So let's head over to the bathroom and take a quick tour of what that looks like. All right, before we hop into the bathroom, check out the luggage area here. This luggage area, you can uh, put your luggage out here if you don't have a seat with reserved luggage. We had ours reserved, so it was in the spot behind our seats, so we didn't have to worry about putting them out here in this hallway area. So. Bathroom shows you if it's vacant or not. Thankfully, it was already the word was there in English translated. So that made it a lot easier. And once you're in there, once the door is locked, just like on most trains, the light comes on. It does have a changing table in here. And then uh, the commode here, of course, it is in Japanese style. So you've got all the buttons that operates anything. You don't have to touch the 
the toilet itself, as you can see, you hit the button and the seat goes down or up for you, depending on what you need and some instructions, things on not to do and what to do properly on how to flush and how to use all the buttons. Everything is translated, which is really nice because <laughs> you don't want to have to figure out how to get all this done. So everything is marked really well. It was super easy. Nice little sink area, mirror area here as well. Bars to hang on to if you uh, need to for balance or if the train starts jostling for some reason. But all in all, it was a pretty spacious bathroom. Very nice and obviously easy to use with all the instructions. We will arrive at Shin Osaka Terminal in a few minutes. Passengers going to the Tokaido, Osaka Higashi, and subway lines, please change trains here at Shin Osaka. Thank you. was an awesome ride. We've arrived here in Shin Osaka Station, ready to explore Osaka. Hope you guys will join me for that. I hope you enjoyed the ride along with me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give me a like. Any questions in, your co in the comment section and I'll see you around.